to sport now and hockey new zealand will take a look at their own structures after a former player claimed she was unhappy with the environment within the black stick setup and it forced her to end her international career mark hag has been in charge of the women's side since 2008 in that time they've twice finished fourth at the olympics and of course this year they won that wonderful gold at the commonwealth games joining us from our wellington studio sports reporter barry guy barry you've been talking to a number of people about this what can you tell us Yes, we spoke to Hockey New Zealand and also to the players' uh, representatives and what happened is that a complaint came to them third party via Sport New Zealand about the uh, perceived environment within the Black Sticks women's squad. Uh, since then, the Hockey uh, Players Association, they've been in touch with uh, some players past and present and some of them, I'm told, have voiced some concerns also. So therefore, they're due to meet next week. That was all a part of the review that was going to happen post the World Cup that they've just held recently. And these issues are then going to be raised also. And from there, they'll decide uh, what action that they'll, uh, that they'll take. Boy, oh boy, there's been a, a bit of tension, hasn't there, in, uh, in some New Zealand coats. Uh, I don't know if there's any tension in, in, in rugby at the moment, Barry. Um, things feeling touch wood, fairly confident going into two big rugby tests. First of all, the uh, All Blacks take on the Wallabies in the Bledisloe Cup opener, and the Black Ferns are playing the Wallaroos in the first of two tests. Let's start with the men. What do you make of the side that uh, Steve Hansen has named? Well, it's a predictable one, I suppose, John. The first uh, major uh, match for them this year, of course, they had the June Internationals. And as Steve Hansen always says, this is the first time this year that they're playing Australia. And so he's expecting them to be at their best, just like they were at the end of last season. And so he, he has therefore put his best side out. Brodie Retallick, Kieran Reid returning to the side. I suppose the only interesting selection there was in the midfield where Jack Goodhue comes in and partners um, Ryan Crotty in the midfield. Sonny Bill Williams isn't available of course. But I suppose if you look at that it's quite a good selection because those two have played together at the Crusaders yeah, all season. They, they won the title and it's probably the best way to go because they know each other combination and um, I know there are a lot of raps on uh, Jack Goodhue for the future and this is a good opportunity uh, for him. So I mean, I don't know, John you look at it also. I suppose you, you, know, you couldn't have uh, made too many changes from what he selected. No, it's, it's a good side. I'm hoping, I, I mean, it's a fantastic side, I think. I'm hoping the Wallabies are going to be really up for it. I, I mean, I, I went to uh, possibly the last game we lost to Australia, which was in Sydney, and I, there's a vibe about this Wallabies team. I hope they're going to be competitive, Barry. I went to the Dunedin Test last year when the Wallabies sort of won. I remember, who was it? Uh, Kieran Reid did someone scored more or less on full time That's for the right. All Blacks yeah, to yeah. score uh, to win that match the Wallabies sort of won it you know they <laughs> how they didn't win I, I'm not too sure and I'm expecting that s similar uh, effort from the Wallabies tomorrow night Th they're paying some extraordinary money if anyone's into betting uh, you know <laughs> put, put some put some money on the Wallabies because you might get a good return they're at home you know, the All Blacks aren't always the best to start off with. And um, so I think it's I think it's going to be a lot closer than a lot of people expect. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Wallabies won this game. Oh, it'll be exciting to see Australia um, re re really re re re-establish themselves as a rugby force. Let's talk about the women. The Black Ferns up against the Wallaroos. Yeah. Uh, Black Ferns are world champs. And by golly, they're looking good, aren't they? That's right. Well, they actually haven't played uh, since they won the title last year. Unfortunately for the women, they don't get the opportunities at this stage to play as often as they should, or they've got, they've got plenty from now on. And so I expect them to be a little bit rusty, but, you know, led by their captain, uh, Afil Fama Sili, who's got 50-something caps, mm. and uh, uh, Kendra Coxedge, the halfback and the fullback, they've all got plenty of uh, uh, experience there also. But there are five debutants in the side, and one of them, of course, is at uh, first five. That's uh, Ruahe de Mont. So it'd be interesting to see how she goes from, she's from Auckland, but there are big raps on her also. I just get the feeling that women's rugby, the Black Ferns, are a lot like the men in that they have the knowledge and the skill to win and they know how to win, which doesn't come easy, but this side has that experience and I just think perhaps they'll have too much for the uh, Wallaroos tomorrow night. Uh, Barry Guy, yeah, uh, boy, women's rugby is in fine health in New Zealand, isn't it? Uh, both games over the weekend.